Hey there Retro Gamers, this is Retro Game Force. Today we are here to check a wireless control solutions for the Sega Saturn. So this add-on is a little bit special, as you can see here. Let me pull it out of the console. As you can see here, this is the receiver, infrared receiver. It has a LED that blinks when you press any button on the remote. On the yeah, and this is for the second player, but has a wire. It's quite funny how they build it up. So you plug in one player, plug in two players, and you're good to go. So the controller itself, uh, by the way, this is made by Naki, but I believe this is quite irrelevant. This is a Chinese company that built up this stuff. Um, the controller quality is, yeah, not the nicest one. The layout is quite similar to the normal Sega uh, Saturn controller. The D-pad, this has some extra features. I don't know if you can see, you have the Turbo and SFT, which I have no idea what it's for. But anyhow, I think this is not working properly. And yeah, so you see this is already broken to the batteries. I have to put some, yeah, something to get the battery is holding in the remote yeah so okay so let's try some games let's so you can see if there's any latency and how it plays so, so what are the good games to test this uh, kind of latency for sure fighting games so let's boot up the Saturn and we will use as a reference Street Fighter Alpha 2, one of my favorites. Some protection here. Do not damage the CD. Put it up. Let's see if I can point the camera to the TV. Second. Here we are. So as you can see, it works. So let's launch the game. Interesting to see how the control react. Okay, I'll skip the intro because we need to go fast to the game. I'm trying to skip as I can. Graphical quality of the Saturn for the 2D games is quite impressive. I can tell you, it looks beautiful. So let's wait, loading. I'll choose Ken. Yeah, the controls feel a little bit stiff. Compared to the original D-pad from the Saturn, but yeah, let's see how it plays. Okay, let's see. Press the button. It reacts immediately.
Yeah, it's quite good actually. Yeah. Try this one. Yes. And now again. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite good. It's been a while I played Street Fighter Alpha 2. Okay. So the, for two games this is quite impressive, there's no latency, it's perfect, it's the same as the regular controller. Okay, so for 3D we need a racing game, I will use Manix TT. Manix TT, oh there's some commercials, cool, okay, let's put it. I'm not really good in, in racing games, at least on the Saturn era. Okay. It's Japanese Manx TT Superbike. <laughs> it's quite funny. Arcade mode. Okay, let's see if I can play anything of this. It's funny that the LED blinks, and if I tap it twice, it stays on. So, yeah, it's responding perfectly. It's really awesome. Okay, I don't play very well the game, but that's a different story. Yeah, these turns are. I think I play better Sega Rally than this one, pretty sure. Damn it. Anyhow, bottom line, if I, if I show you here the LED, you see here, if I press a key, this reacts, and if I press twice, It stays on, so it takes all the commands, and that's why I think this works so, such an uh, ineffective way. It works. So you can be on the couch, for example, in the living room, and you can play Ser Sega Saturn without, um, yeah, without any uh, cables running around. It's, guys, if you catch this somewhere. I will recommend it. This really works. So guys, thanks for watching. I catch you next time and keep play, play hard and may the retro game force be with you all. Thanks for watching.